What's up everyone? Welcome back to another edition of How Can Josh Turn Something Into Pasta? Today on the video, I'm making a butter chicken inspired pasta dish. In my brain, it makes perfect sense. Take chicken thighs, raise them so that they become shredded chicken thighs. And then instead of adding some other liquid to it, instead of adding some other sauce to it, let's make a butter chicken inspired tikka masala style sort of borrowing from both those things to create what I'm about to show you today which is a butter chicken popperdale dish. Let's get on with the recipe. This all starts with my love of pasta, of course, but also my love of Indian cuisine. Now in this dish, all I'm really trying to do is stretch that butter chicken flavor and that butter chicken goodness throughout the pasta. But obviously it all starts with the chicken. And in this case, I'm using my Ninja Foodi, not sponsored, to pressure cook these thighs so that they fall apart into strands of chicken. Now that the chicken is seared and the fond is left over in the pan, let's get on with some aromatics. For this, I'm obviously using a large white onion, but also a ton of garlic, probably more than any recipe you can Google will suggest. But that's just me and this recipe. I'm doing it the way I want. And then I'm using a microplane. I'm gonna grate some ginger, which will make this a pulp-like consistency, but also leave over some ginger juice. Definitely using that in there too. You see all those bits that are left over in the pan? That's the fawn that I was talking about earlier. You never really wanna get rid of that because that's all the goodness and the flavor left over from searing the chicken. It's going to seep into the aromatics, making this extra flavorful. Right there, I added some tomato paste and coconut milk, and this is where things get taken to somewhat of a place, but not that crazy of a place. I know yogurt is normally used in typical butter chicken recipes, but like I said, this is just vaguely inspired by butter chicken, not really typical at all. To this mixture of all things smelling incredible already, goes some chicken stock, garam masala, paprika, turmeric, cumin, and some salt and pepper. Then it's braising time. So in goes the chicken thighs, and these don't even take that long. Something like 25 minutes on high, and then they get strained from the sauce and set aside. For the garlic naan, it's my typical melted butter with grated garlic mix and I'm using that and some ready-made naan and painting this mixture all the way onto it and then throwing it in the toaster just to get crispy. Time to shred this chicken up and I, look, I don't know about anyone if you're watching this, but it's extremely satisfying to shred apart braised meat. Plus look how easy that was in 25 minutes. For the pasta, I'm using pappardelle, but I have so much of this left over, I'm gonna put it on every single pasta I have because it's that good. Once the noodles are done cooking, I'm gonna drain them and set it aside and then reheat the sauce and the chicken and add the noodles and toss that entire thing together. Now, while I was plating this, I was thinking, do I wanna add some sort of a cheese on top of this? But there's already so much flavor, a little cilantro garnish and a side of garlic on is all I needed. All right, here we go, this is it. What you're looking at right now is maybe, just maybe, my favorite dish I've made in recent months. I've never braised chicken before, let alone using a butter chicken flavor profile. And I gotta say, with the pasta, super good. Let's go in for a taste. If I close my eyes and I smell right away butter chicken, then I get this kind of weird juxtaposition of, am I having Italian cuisine or is it Indian cuisine? Does it even matter? In this case, it is super tasty, extra delicious. Well, that just about does it. Hope you guys enjoyed this experiment going on culinary journeys through various cultures to create what I think is a very incredibly delicious meal. Butter chicken pappardelle. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Turn on notifications and hit that sub button. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.